tragedy like this. The family is absolutely devastated. The crash happened earlier this morning here in I-275 near Ford Road. Friends and family say she had the face of an angel. Shelby Gunn was sunshine. The young woman, only in her mid-20s, was killed early this morning on I-275 as she drove home from babysitting. Police say the man who killed her was likely drunk. My first thought that came to my mind was drunk driver. When you see somebody out on the road that late, going that rate of speed. Megan, who did not want us to use her last name, was on I-275 at the time of the deadly crash. She saw the suspect speed by her moments before he would slam into Shelby. It was like less than a minute later. Um, he probably got about a mile in front of me, and then I saw him kind of lose control. Um, I just saw lights. It was really dark, but I saw him go left into the guardrail, and I saw the woman he hit um, kind of spin around. And when I got up there, um, I just kind of parked in front of the, the scene. Megan says the scene of the crash was a horror she'll never forget. It was definitely a scary feeling, but it's just very unfortunate. The story is generating a lot of sympathy and outrage on our website. Tracy writes, I was actually the second car to arrive there last night and the one who called the cops. The accident was very unfortunate, just like they all are, and my heart goes out to this girl's family. Another user writes, I am sick of these selfish, irresponsible drunks behind the wheel of any vehicle, taking innocent lives and leaving them unscathed. And one more look at this beautiful young woman, Shelby Gunn. Of course, her family grieving tonight. We did stop by the home earlier tonight. The family so gracious and so caring. They are just grieving right now and did not want to speak. As for that a suspected drunk driver, he remains behind bars tonight. He should recover from his injuries. We'll keep you posted on the arraignment. Reporting live in Canton, Tom Wade, Channel 7 Action News. Glenda, back to you.